So I've created two files in Cricut Community. The first one has images already in it and you can just make them as is. And the second file is a blank file where you can upload your own image so that you can create one with customized images that you want to have pop up. Both files have examples of two different sized cards. The blue card is a 5 by 7 card. It's a standard sized card. And the white pieces are the corresponding mechanism and the yellow piece is the size limitation on the image that you can upload. For the 5 by 7 card, larger size image that you can use so as to not interfere with your mechanism is 3 inches high by 6 inches wide. Now the second size card is 5 by 5 squared. The standardized size is normally a 6 by 6 inch card. Because the maximum size width you can cut on your Cricut is 11 and a half inches, I reduced the size of the card to fit within the parameters. The green card has its mechanism and it also has different size limitation for the image that you can upload. So the, so the maximum height is 3.5 inches and the maximum width is 5 inches. So let's just give an example of uploading an image so that you can have that image pop out of the center of your card. So I'm going to go into upload images and I'm going to drag and drop an image. I'm going to select complex and I'm going to crop this image. Apply and continue. And then I'm going to select print and cut. So I'm going to add this image to my canvas. And obviously it's going to come in at a much greater size. So what we're looking for is a size of three inches tall. However, I want a frame for my picture. I'm going to make my image a quarter of an inch smaller than the maximum size so that I can use this piece as my frame. So my image would need to be a maximum size of five and three quarters by two and three quarters. My proportions are still locked and I'm going to change the height of my image to two and three quarters. But now my width is only 3.317. Put it in my frame, it's still too wide. So I'm gonna change the width. Now obviously this is gonna change depending on your image and what you're uploading. So you're restricted to the maximum width or height of your image depending on if your image is portrait or landscape. So in this particular case, I need to reduce my frame to 3.5 inches wide. And in doing so, I've created a frame that's much more proportional to the size of my image. And I won't be needing this anymore. Eventually, this image is going to be adhered to this piece. And obviously, this piece is a little bit too wide for my image now that I've altered the width of my image so much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my frame. So, and I'm going to highlight this piece of the mechanism, go down to my layers panel, and click on the piece itself. I'm going to duplicate that piece, and then I'm going to put it within that frame. I'm going to select both of those pieces, align center, and slice. Now what this does, it reduces the size of my piece so when my frame is glued on top of this piece you won't be seeing the edges of it anymore. I'm going to take this piece, align center, and grab the piece, arrange, send it to back, and then that original piece, I'm going to delete it while still keeping the score lines exactly where they are. And I'm going to attach them. So by doing this, my original piece is now the right width, but I still have the score lines exactly where I need them. 
So this process will be exactly the same for the five and a half inch sized card. But I just figured I'd give you two separate sizes that you can play with different sized images. Now we can move on to actually cutting the cards and showing you how to put the mechanism together. So this is the assembly of my pop-up card. I have a backing to put them on. Next we have the card base. I'm just holding it in half on the score line. And then I'm going to glue down the decorative panels. And these are the two pieces that serve as my mechanism to pop up my image. So I'm going to start with the first piece. It has two score lines on the diagonal and you just want to fold down on those score lines. And then it has a score line that runs across the center like so. And then you have score lines on each those little arms that stick out. What you're going to do is holding it so that your arms are sticking out on both sides. You want to put your index finger on the inside so that it folds down into this shape. So you have your little arms that are still sticking up. There's a score line on one of them and that's You want to just fold down on that score line. So what you want to do is just put glue from the score line to the edge of the piece and then fold that piece downward. And it fits right on top of the other piece. If you turn it and just put a thumb in either one of these divots on each side and pull your piece will flatten like that. And that's your mechanism. Next, we're going to move on to the second piece of the mechanism, and this is what holds your image. So you have a score line in the center that goes all along the length of it, like so. So you're just going to run glue just on the rectangle. We're just running glue in the center. For this mechanism, I'm using 80 pound cardstock. So the base of your mechanism in hand and the piece that you've just glued together, you're going to notice that th these two little arms that stick out actually fit exactly on top of either side of the part that jets out. I'm just going to put glue on either side so the peak of this fold just goes right into here. And so it looks like this. You put your thumb in behind both these notches and you pull the notches and you'll see it twists like so. Your mechanism is going to fit centered on the height of your card and so that the base of your mechanism is against the score line. Your image should fit within the parameters of your card because it's going to be glued on to this base. So I'm just putting glue triangular piece that has a little cutout. You need to place it so that it's centered on the height of the card and up against that score line. And then you're going to put glue so exactly the same place you've just put glue on the other side. Then you want to close your card. So you've got that twist. So you have that pop and twist action that happens when you open your card. Next you're just going to put glue along the rectangle and position your image. And there you have it, your pop-up card. And then this is the front of my card. I have my base piece. I've embossed matte layer. And then I'm just going to glue my gnome to his little base and place him in the center of the card. 